Hello, happy Tuesday. It is sunny and chilly here in Indianapolis, and kids are at school working all day. I've been banging my head against the wall because I've been trying to download <clears throat> the new operating system for the Mac, and I have it downloaded, but you can't install it if you have, you know, you have to have a ton of space available. And ugh. Uh, if you're a Mac user, you know how frustrating that little other area is, and the storage, and it's just like. Just install, that's all I want you to do. So you have to download it, delete some apps, do all kinds of stuff, and it's, oh, it's so frustrating. But anyway, that's been the Tuesday morning so far. Um, been working on that forever. Um, I got a good old Totino's pizza in the oven. Got the crock pot clean. We're gonna cook some barbecue chicken for dinner. And um, Heidi's gonna head to physical therapy in a little bit for her hip, but uh, kind of get the day started a little late with trying to do this update so um it's a beautiful day out it's cold way too cold but as you uh just see nice day outside huh nice day anyway here i am sweatshirt on freezing to death i'm gonna go get back after it eat this delicious Totino's look what this is there you go don't be jealous a dollar 25 all right we're gonna go uh, get our Tuesday started we're making progress just 55 short minutes away from a new operating system so uh, good news I guess right it's working I'm trying to escape huh you trying to escape out the window? No. Get your little paw. You see? Anything good? Well, looky dinner. We got some barbecue chicken. Got some rice cooking up. And it's going to be great. Put uh, five or six pieces of chicken in the old crock pot. Covered it with BBQ and... Now it's ready to roll. So, another home cooked delicious meal. Let's fill up those nuts. Mm, I think the rice is done. Oh my gosh. It's 43 degrees out. And it's going to be down to 34 overnight. This is ridiculous. It's not even November yet. And it's freezing cold. I don't think you can see any of those stars, but we got a absolute crystal clear night in Indianapolis, Indiana. And it is freaking freezing out. And it's going to get freaking freezing er. So, oh, I hate it. Winter stinks. This is not good. But, uh, yeah, we have nothing to do outside, so I can't complain too much. And it's great fire weather. We got. We got our uh, we got our firewood here. Get an old newspaper ready to burn. Don't want to worry about that trash over there. But tonight would have been a perfect night for a fire, even though it is pretty chilly out. So I just had to come out, lock up outside, and uh, I'm freezing to death. I'm a shorts and flip flops guy all year round, and uh, I'm going to probably have to break out the pants. I had to break out the pants this weekend for baseball, which made me not too happy. But I want to break out the pants sooner. Sooner than what I want to. It's going to be cold. It's going to be very, very, very cold. Also, stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow night, we may have crafts with Craig. Uh, Philip has to make a shark? What does he have to make? Yeah, shark craft. A shark craft tomorrow. And for those of you that don't know, Mr. Craig and Miss Heidi, we are the two most least crafty people. You're crafty. No, he's not. Hey! Well, he's made stuff. we are not very crafty. 
Philip is. Heidi's really not crafty. I'm an accountant. Um, I have no Heidi's an accountant. So yes. she is very, here's what we're doing. It's black and white. I think we can make it happen. There's a, there's a, there's a template, but I thought you get a paper plate, you cut a piece of pie out, pizza, pizza, and that's the mouth. And then you glow that, glue that piece that you cut out on the top. That's its fin. And then you crescent moon another plate, put it on the back. And you got a fat shark with a big tail and a thing and a, but that's not the, that's not the recipe we're following. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Maybe. When's it do? Oh, it's do Friday. So we got two days to do it. So, uh, you may get to go with us to the craft store tomorrow, which is always an exciting time because we don't know our way around there and we get to do that as a team. So that'll be exciting. Phil gets to paint. And Philip gets to paint. <laughs> also, fun fact, uh, the Braves are playing the Astros in the World Series. And our friend Nico is six years old, just got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Is it diabetes or diabetes? Stop. So, Adam Duvall, I forgot his name, plays for the Braves, has type 1 as well. And I just got a, friend, a text from Nico's dad, Nick, that said that he was preparing Nico's nighttime cocktail of shot and looked up and Duvall hit a two-run homer. So, how can you not be romantic about baseball? That's how. So, uh, Braves are up. I won't say that I picked them in five games. There's still a long way to go, but looks like they're looking pretty good for game one. But uh, back, to, uh, back to craft talk. Just right... Or wait, don't wait. Wait for it. It's going to be quite a uh, quite a mess because we're not crafty. Is it is it difficult? It's for kids. It can't be that difficult. <laughs> Shut up, look at him. He's got more. That's what we should do. We should just pawn this off. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to pawn our third grade homework off to the seventh grader. So it'll be great. All right, Major League Baseball. We got to have a talk. It's eleven oh eight. This game started at 8-10, game one of the World Series, and we are in the top of the seventh inning. How in the world are you going to grow your brand, and grow the sport, if you can't even have kids stay up and watch it? It's four hours. Four hours and we've still got three innings left. we we got a third of the game. So if that's the case, it's going to get over at what, 1 a.m.? Come on. How ridiculous. But during the game, Charlie Morton, the pitcher for the Braves, caught a line drive on the leg, <clears throat> fractured his leg, faced three more batters, and struck two of them out. Absolutely amazing beast. But we're going to call tonight. Uh, I'm looking out of my corner of my eye because the kitty has lost her mind. She was chasing her tail like a dog. So that was interesting. But... Um, yeah, she's just playing on a chair. So anyway, it was a good Tuesday. Heidi's uh, physical therapy was good. Hopefully it's going to make her a little more uh, better, if that's good English. More better? No. It's going to make you more comfortable? There you go. More comfortable. How about that? Um, what did we do for lunch? Oh, the delicious Totino's pizza, $1.25 lunch. And then we had the delicious uh, chicken for dinner <clears throat> and rice. We are going to go hit baseballs, but decided not to. And I uh, took you outside when it was freezing cold. So, not much going on here. Sorry about that. But tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to get with my friend Mike and uh, do some video with the renovation uh, company that he has. And then maybe go hit with Luke in the evening. But that is it. Nothing else is going on in our neighborhood. Anything else we could think of? <laughs> Nothing? Sorry. It's a boring time. Right after uh, fall break, we got a couple weeks here before we get ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we do. So thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, the YouTube shorts today we dropped were about the cold morning that we had here in Indy. And then we talked a little bit about the Braves. Winning the World Series. That's my pick. I think they win in five games. I think they're the better team. And their pitching's better. 
and they're going to get it done. So uh, they're ahead in game one, so we'll see if they hold on, and then we'll get to game two. But thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you have a great Tuesday. And tomorrow's Wednesday. We're already halfway through the week. And Thursday Night Football is going to be killer this week. It is the Cardinals and Packers. Packers have got a bunch of people on COVID, so we'll talk about that as we get closer. Uh, Colts have a big game against the Titans. So lots of football going on. And um, if anybody out there has tickets to North Carolina and Notre Dame Saturday, let me know. I'd like to go, but I don't want to pay a bunch. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later.